Dirty Sexy Funny with, with Jenny McCarthy. Um, we're talking to Boy George, who I can't even believe is sitting next to me. It's so weird, like, having an icon that I had. Right, Michelle? I'm kind of a little bit, I'm trying not to act geeked out. Am, oh, do I seem like I'm geeking out contained. at all? So, when I, I love this quote, your quote, I'm bisexual. When I want sex, I buy it. <laughs> I'm like, uh, if I if I had an, another life, I would be you. Well, because avoidance how- techniques. You know, the, one of the things you learn when you get famous, uh, especially if you don't want to talk about certain things, is you just basically come up with these one, great one-liners. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, I mean, I saw a great interview with Bowie a couple of years ago, um, and the guy was trying to get into the whole, did you sleep with Mick Jagger? Did you have, were you bisexual? And Bowie said to him, if I were to lay the truth on you, it would blow your mind. You wouldn't be able to cope with it. So I'm just not going to do that to you. Brilliant. And I think what you do when you get in the public eyes, you learn ways to not answer questions. <laughs> It's, like, it's very you politically gay? correct. Mm, you, know, you know, all those questions that we, you know, wanted to avoid really that, back then. Some people are know. really bad at it, though. Some people don't have that one second filter. And sometimes well, you've you got to be playful. You, mm-hmm. You've got to say something funny without revealing too much. I think a bit of ambiguity is a good I, I thing. I think so, too. I think that today, you know, we know too much about everyone. Well, you said before in the past you've maybe given a little bit too much away. Absolutely. What 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 was that, given too much away? Well, I think, you know, first of all, no one schools you for fame. You get famous, suddenly you're talking about things you know nothing about. Mm-hmm. You know, the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> you know, what do you think about this? People are asking you questions, and you feel like... I think when you're young, you think everything you have to say is interesting. Mm-hmm. And as I've grown up, I realize... And you want to change the world. Kind of. As I've got <laughs> older, I'm like, you know what? You don't always have to have an opinion about something. And especially in the age of kind of social media and Twitter, it's quite good to have a little bit of a filter where you go, do I need to say this? Right. I mean, I know I have an opinion on everything and it's quite <laughs> funny, but do I need to say it? Is it going to make the world a better place? So I, I do tend to kind of breathe. I, I tweet less. It's smart. Yeah, because I used to get involved with rows with everybody. Oh, if you if you start, it's like the first act of war is defense. I've, I've had rows with One Direction fans. I've had rounds with Gar- <laughs> Lady Gaga fans. I mean, not for any particular reason. I don't think what I said was even rude. I think One Direction, you said everybody's bisexual, which I think I've said I before. didn't say that. Well, I, um, a journalist in London said to me, is Harry, Harry was ambiguous. And I said, all rock stars want to be ambiguous. I said they were rock stars. That's all I said, which I think is true. And I oh, wish more rock stars were ambiguous. I, I told Donnie, too. I was like, I, I've i had plenty of conversations where I, when I first met him, I'm like, are you bisexual? Because he's like, why do you ask me that? I'm like, because I think everybody is. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I think that, well, I think that, you know, some people. Or everybody thinks about I think some it. people know what they are and I think they're probably happier. You know, these people that know they're kind of this and, you know, like there's a ruler and at one end you've got, I'm very straight. The other end, I'm very gay. Nothing. Everybody else comes across, comes somewhere along that ruler. I think those very straight people, though, still fantasize. I think it's still in their rolodex of fantasies, especially those the Christians. (laughs) She's naughty. She's very naughty.